Yo, what's good, brother? Yo, what's good? Yo, when are you ever gonna tell me how to get that crazy board, bro? What board? Here you go, gatekeeping again. Never mind, bro. Oh, this board? Nah, that's messed up. See you flexing. Look at my board. And now look at yours. That's messed up. I mean, I could show you the source. Give me the source. Word, I'm running out of time, so you trying to pull up and I'll show you? Oh yeah, say less. Bet, come with me. All right, so first things first, you're going to need a save editor tool for RPCS3, and then you're going to need a save that has black box. Now, black box is just a glitch logo that is able to expand past their limit. For example, right here, you can see that I have black color grid tape. I'm pretty sure you can possibly guess what makes the grid tape that I have. That glitch happens when you put your graphics at a certain spot. Certain spot meaning the grid tape still has to look realistic. Sweet spot for me is like usually I go for the grid tape to look like the bolts are showing. You know, it's mad hard to do. See, I'm getting it right now. Okay, see, that's pretty good. Um, if you've seen some of my saves, I'm using like bright colors on the grid tape. For example, uh, this white. What you want to aim for is making the bolts show up. This logo is probably not a logo I would use because like the edges are black. So what you want to do is possibly use something like this and then just start messing around with it. Okay, see, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now just inch it down a little bit more. See, it's it's easy once you get used to it. See that, that looks like it's a perfect color. Like it's deep enough of a color. Now what we're gonna wanna do, since we have the black deck, we're going to now use the save editor tool and start messing around with the RGB. So I already set it up. I'm choosing hidden RGB one. Doesn't have to be hidden RGB one, but I'm choosing that for now. So put in negative nine, negative nine, negative nine set rgb and then i'm replacing hidden rgb1 with the board hit replace it'll give you this text that's all right exit edit skater and see what happens sometimes you might have to go back and forth because like the color won't show up sometimes that's okay i'm gonna tell you the source right now when the rgb isn't showing through the color grid tape that means the color grid tape is too bold so you might have to make it lighter if the rgb is showing completely over the board and you can't see the color grid tape that means the color grid tape is too light so you might have to darken it. A matter of trial and error. Let's try to find some other colors. You can do this with other colors. So for example, I'm gonna choose red, set RGB, and then back out. And the grip tape should be like a red. It's pretty cool. That's really it for today, guys. Um, you can catch me in my Discord or possibly in my next video. If you don't want to join my Discord, join my Discord. Now, do it. It's in the description below, bro. All right. Anyway, guys, peace out. I'll catch you in the next one.